Here at Monacan High School, I teach Introduction to Health and Medical Sciences, and I teach Sports Medicine 1 and Sports Medicine 2. Prior to teaching, I was a certified athletic trainer working in sports medicine, covering um, both professional and high school athletic teams and working in a physical therapy clinic. I discovered that I really missed interacting with high school students and getting that ability opportunity to teach them because they wanted to learn. They wanted to learn about their injuries. They wanted to learn about anatomy and how things work. They wanted to improve and get better. I, I, I did try several different uh, aspects of athletic training and about three years in I realized uh, it would be really smart for me to go back and get my education degree uh, so I could teach my love of sports medicine to the kids. My teaching philosophy follows in line with the, the philosophy I learned from my own medical training, which was learn one, do one, teach one. So learn how to do the skill, learn the material, actually get that hands-on practice and do it yourself, and then know it so well that you can teach it to someone else. I was a kinesthetic learner. I, I need to be hands-on and, and try things and experience them and do them to learn, and I think my students appreciate the same thing. I think these classes draw in students who want to experience their education. I think she won an award because she's really good at what she does, and she is also an athletic trainer, so that makes her teaching us a lot. It makes it better for us because she's been in the field and has all of these like experiences. And at least for me, like retaining things that you learn in school is hard. And so whenever she talks about it, like there's always something, like there's almost never been on a test where I've struggled with something because there's always an experience that, or a story that she's related it back to that's like kept it in my mind. So I think that she's really good with teenagers and she knows that we're real people and we're not just like, I don't know, we're not just teenagers that, you know, act up and make mistakes. Like she very, she understands that we're 16, 17, and 18, and that we're not perfect. And she's really able to relate back to us. She'll always talk to us like we're people, and it's not just like we get lectured. And she builds time into class of where we can kind of branch off and talk about other things that we find like, like if it just gets brought up, then there's, it's not like she crams in notes every second of the day. And I like that she's like personable and funny. I love that every day is a new day. Every day is a surprise. I don't know what's gonna, what to expect. I can have the best laid plans and we are on our feet and reacting. And that's also what I love about athletic training. It is you're on the sidelines and in the action and just being resourceful and working with what you've got to be successful. And I have that same satisfaction in the classroom. Uh, I also find the students are just very rewarding to work with. Watching them over a four-year process grow and mature and start to use the knowledge that I taught them is really exciting. I think it's just kind of like, you don't really feel like you're in class. I feel like it's just kind of like a free-flowing conversation that we're having a conversation as a class and everyone has an opportunity to chime in what they have to say about a certain thing. And like I said before, it just doesn't feel like a normal class. Like it just feels like a group conversation. Well, I think she won this award because just the bond she builds with students and then the day in and day out of how much work she puts into every class time that we have and really teaching us different things about the body and different ways we can learn. I think, you know, just really being a teacher that we can be able to connect with is what made her, you know, I think one of the best in Chesterfield County. Teaching can be 
both the most rewarding and the most thankless job all rolled into one in the most amazing way. Um, and you know, just when you have the the day to day and the hard work and the whining and the complaining and the the problem solving all day long, just when you hit the brink of exhaustion, then comes in a smiling student who says the most kind thing I've ever heard in my life and that's all I needed. That's all I needed. Um, these children are good and it's, it's a gift to be able to show up to work every day with and work with people that ap appreciate you and you get to watch them discover that and find that. They might not show it to you immediately, but they are always genuine. And I really appreciate that in teaching that, that my coworkers, my students are genuine, they're honest. And um, at the end of the day, it is rewarding. And having been in it 19 years now, it's, been the most special thing to watch former students come back and want to tell you what they're doing now and want to um, share their life with you still years later. I definitely do think she cares us as students. I think she cares to help develop us not only as students but as people, you know. So when we go off to later life in college and then after that and get a job, she wants to see us be successful and do great things in the real world.